Rochester police have identified the 16-year-old who was shot and killed last night on Pennsylvania Avenue. And this comes as Mayor Malik Evans offers an update on the city's gun violence state of emergency this afternoon. Isabel Garcia joining us live now from City Hall with the very latest. Isabel? Yes, good afternoon to both of you. Rochester police identifying the boy murdered as 16-year-old Jaquise Davis of Pennsylvania Ave. He is also a sophomore student at East High. Now, the mayor's update on the gun violence emergency order was not in direct response to this, but the mayor did speak to the homicide, saying these incidents cause ripple effects and deep trauma to the community as a whole, demonstrating the need to urgently address the violence. He explained there are three key strategies they are tackling, which are prevention, intervention, and suppression. Now, in regards to that last one, suppression, the mayor says RPD has expanded its targeted location-specific approach to increase enforcement in what they are calling micro hotspots, experiencing disproportionate levels of violence. He added that this has helped them to find and confiscate illegal guns as a result. And in the past few weeks since the emergency order was declared, the city law department has shut down two places of business and restricted another business's operations after intelligence showed illegal activity and violence at those spots. This gun violence emergency is only a tool. It is not a magic wand. It is not going to change things overnight. It gives the mayor the ability to have the tools to be able to make the necessary changes to be able to get an accomplishment, to get something done, to get a gun off the street, to close a business that might be terrorizing a neighborhood or violence might be taking place at that location and, and having large people gathering. So it's only a tool. And I'll go into further breaking down what exactly those tools entail. Still ahead at 5 and 6. And when asked when this order will end, the mayor tells me that this is for a 30-day period when those executive orders, excuse me, those orders are declared. But he plans to continue to renew it for the months ahead. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Reporting live in Rochester, Isabel Garcia, News 8. All right, Isabel, thank you. And regarding the death of Davis in a statement from East High where the 16-year-old attended, the trauma response team will be on site tomorrow to help students and staff coping with this loss.